three, two, one. Yo, what it is, YouTube? It's your boy, Nancy, coming back with another Bulls. I have a tutorial here today on the channel. So I wanted to go over Vori, how to get that mainstream melodic sound that Vori kind of has. He kind of got his own signature sound. So I want to break it down now. Let's not waste no time. Let's get on the grind and let's see what gems we can find. Let go. More than a team. No shit get dangerous when my heart involved Cause I just heart it out And I know it ain't mine But I still wonder who you fucking when I'm not around Especially when I'm out of town If this is all a game to y'all Then tell me now Don't wait to tell me when I'm not around Don't tell me that pussy mine when I'm just in town Don't tell me you fucking off Cause you think that I get around You know I'm not too good on the mind games You know I'm not too good with the mind games You know I'm not too good with the mind games you know I'm not too good with the mind games I'm out of town If this is all a game to y'all Then tell me now Don't wait to tell me when I'm not a Okay, so let's listen to this right away. If you guys do like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out the Patreon where we got exclusive courses and gems that we be dropping. So let's listen to what it sounds like with and without the preset. And of course, I actually have some um, ad libs too. So let's listen real quick. If this is all it gets to y'all, then tell me now. Hey. Don't wait to tell me around, not around. Hey. Don't tell me that pussy mine when I'm just in town. Just in town. Don't tell me you fucking off because you think it I get around. You know I'm not too good on the mind games. Hey. You know I'm not too good with the mind games. You know I'm not too good with the mind games. You know I'm not too. If this is all it gets to y'all, then tell me now. Don't wait to tell me around, not around. If this is all again to y'all, then tell me now. Don't wait to tell me around, not around. Okay, so um, let's look at how we were able to get this vocal chain for Vori. So one thing I paid attention to with Vori is that his vocals are melodic, but they really have a, a good bit of texture to it. So, you know, they kind of have like this type of like, I would. it feels like there's a little bit of like distortion kind of going on with his vocal, but it's a very pleasant distortion. So when I think of something like pleasant distortion, I think of non-linearities. I think of something like tape, you know, sometimes the way you distort, maybe like a transformer or, you know, transistor, certain analog plugins they got different parts and you know maybe sometimes the way you hit uh, a certain plugin at a certain level will produce a little bit of that grittiness a little bit of that texture rather than just to get a squeaky clean mr clean pine soul sound all the time you know not everybody wants a clean sound sometimes a clean sound is not always appropriate so first quarter with a uh, vori type of vocal i use something like the kramer take because i want it to be smooth but at the same time have a little bit of texture so how do i get my texture all right i get my texture by using something like a little bit of wow and flutter which starts to introduce a little bit of those pops and a little bit of those you know wobbly mistakes that um you know tape is known for then we have something like the uh you know the saturation which is like the record level and the playback level depending on how hard you hit that that will also add some color so first quarter this is kind of adding a little bit of brightness and a little bit of a, a, a little bit of grain if this is all it gets to you then tell me now don't wait to tell me around not around if this is all again to y'all, then tell me now. Don't wait to tell me around, not around. If this is all again to y'all, then tell me now. So you hear that 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 kind of like a little bit of that tape distortion really starts to, you know, kind of inflate the balloon a little bit. The vocal kind of sounded really skimpy. But as I add that saturation, you know, it makes it a little bit more dense or a little bit more full. Kind of like if I had a balloon, I blew that bitch up. All right. Next move is going to be our, um you know, our SSL channel strip. And of course, I like to use the SSL E when I want something a little bit more clean. And when I want something a little bit of dirt on the shoulders, you feel me? I go with the SSL G. So I want something clean at this point because. I already used the tape to make it dirty, kind of doing a little bit of a counter move. So, of course, like I'm rolling off a little bit of the low end on, uh, you know, Vori's vocal. Um, and also, I'm kind of just reshaping the mid range a little bit. I think I did push a little bit of the green band. And for me, the green band is like the transients. Like when you want a vocal to cut through a little bit and just have a little bit of presence, you know, you could push the green band just a little bit. But me personally, 
if I'm going to do like additive processing to a vocal, I usually like to use like a saturation or something like that. Because with the EQs, like you kind of, you're going to be reshaping the, the frequencies of the vocal, you feel me? So if you already got your vocal feeling good and you do want to add a little bit of flavor to it, sometimes you might just not want to go with regular um, salt and pepper. Sometimes you might want to go with, uh, you know, a tape or something like that, which is like, you know, habanero dressing or some crazy wild ass shit, exotic shit. You feel me? So, of course, doing a little bit of compression. I know that the VCA is going to give me, uh, you know, a little bit more sharpness as I increase the ratio, the knee. The, you, know, you feel me? The higher the ratio goes, the harder the knee starts to get. So that's making my vocal just be a little bit more, huh, not too good with the mind games. You feel me? So let's go. Tell me now. Don't wait to tell me around, not around. Don't tell me that pussy man when I'm just in town. Don't tell me you fucking off because you think it out your get around. You know, you know I'm not too good on the mind games. You know I'm not too good with the mind games. You know I'm not too good with the mind games. You know I'm not too good with the mind games. So that's the thing about Vori's uh, vocal. I feel like it's really about making it clean, 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 and then kind of sharpening the vocal up a little bit. So that's what I just noticed about his vocal sound too. That's why I use something like a high shelf to give me a little bit of that 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 height, that air, that little elevation, that little second floor on the elevator type of sound that Vori kind of has with his vocal. It sounds like his vocal is kind of like sitting a little bit on top of the beat. So oftentimes, you know, high frequencies too is another thing that tells you how high something is is in the air, pretty much. So. Uh, uh, something like a, a de -er as well. I'm doing a boost and a cut at, uh, you know, kind of like around the same ballpark, essentially. And that's really just kind of making sure that I have a gate. You feel me? So um, at this point in time, you know, that high end frequency is kind of like a, a, a bloodhound. It's kind of like a pit bull. It's kind of running all around the backyard. So now I'm using the de -er as kind of like a fence to tell that be, you know, don't extend, don't go too far because I don't want to, um, you know, hurt people's ears pretty much like that. So it's all about managing the high end. Like when you're doing your saturation, you're doing the boosting with the EQ and all that shit, you got to figure out like, okay, I kind of got it sounding bright or do I want it to sound crunchy and how far do I want to take it? You know, how far I want to let my bloodhound run around the backyard and shit like that. I, I I want him to jump on the neighbors or do I want him to just chill over here in this little, you know, doggy area, you feel me? So it's some shit like that. It's how I see it. Tell me now, don't wait to tell me around, not around. Don't tell me that pussy man when I'm just in town. Don't tell me you fucking off because you think it I get around. You know I'm not. So yeah, that's kind of how I'm using my DSR, and I never let it really go past, you know, six. At that point, you know, I start to feel like I'm losing a little bit of that dynamic in the high end, and we want our high end to breathe. You know what I mean? That's what that's what kind of helps you feel the flow a little bit when you hear the transitions in between. After that, we have C4 pop vocal preset. Of course, you know that's what we use around here. It's kind of uh, boosting the noise floor of the high end with a lot of bit, of, a lot of bit of you know fast kind of uh, type of compression. It's just really helping Vori's vocals start to jump on like a trampoline. You know, I'm taking the vocal, put on a trampoline, let it bounce up and down, and that's coming through the fast release so if you want something to bounce up and down you use something like a faster release if you want to tell something sit your ass down you use a slower release to hold it into place so that's kind of how i see it i don't just see it like oh am i taming the peaks and shit i don't see it like that i see it more like how am i controlling this how am i getting it to move front to back and you know kind of glide around the music so let's look at that and tell me now don't wait to tell me around not around don't tell me that pussy man when i'm just in town don't tell me you fucking off cause you think it I get around You know I'm not too good on the mind games You know I'm not too good with the mind games You know I'm not too good with the mind games mm. So yeah, that's kind of what we have like C uh, that C4 kind of doing a little bit of that you know jumping jack you know type of you know trampoline type of movement making the vocal come up and down back and forth. So it's about positioning too, you know. And then we have the CLA 3A. I picked the 3A over the 2A or any other compressor because I wanted something smooth. Which I knew that first quarter I wanted something smooth for Vori's vocal, but I didn't want to add more tonal coloration at that point. So I'm using a limiter, which is going to actually be adding a little bit more like I can can I say abruptness to uh, Vori's uh, vocal. And the thing about a CLA-3A is like, it kind of depends on how you want to approach it because the, the farther you push the peak reduction, the slower the release is going to get. The release on this is uh, automatic. Like, you know, the attack and release is automatic. But if you want to be like in a situation where let's say you had like a plugin before that and you made it louder going into this plugin, right? And you had the peak reduction a little bit lower, that will give you like a, a faster release. So let's look at this. Tell me now, don't wait to tell me around, not around. Don't tell me that pussy man when I'm just in town. Don't tell me you fucking off because you think it I get around. You know I'm not too good. And I'm using a lot of the uh, you know output transformer to give me my color. So yeah, I'm using Dirty Gain 
um, with this plugin pretty much. I'm, I'm making this plugin louder on purpose because it's an analog model plugin and I know the output is a transformer. So that transformer is also giving a little bit of body to a singing vocal. And I think that's important when you have somebody like a Vori melodic type of vocal. Okay, after that, we have something like a REQ, just kind of starting to reshape Vori's uh, vocal at this point, just making sure everything is balanced, rolling off that, that low end, the booty, just cutting off the fat, trimming the fat off the chicken bone pretty much and then hitting it with a little bit of a uh, bell you know just making sure i control the achu god bless you achu nasally frequency in the vocal and then another high shelf as well um uh, just still c controlling my high end pretty much so let's look don't tell me now don't win the time we round not around don't tell me that pussy man when i'm just in town don't tell me you fucking off because you think it i get around you know i'm not too good on the mind games you Okay, so we kind of got that right there. After that, we have the Arvox doing a little bit of tight gating, a little bit of compression. We all know what that does. We all know what this does, just adding some body and some weight. Don't tell me now. Don't win the time we round or not around. Don't tell me that pussy man when I'm just in town. Don't tell me you fucking off because you think it I get around. You know I'm not. All right, after that, we had the fresh air right here, just kind of breathing a little bit of life, you know, kind of filling up the oxygen tank for the vocal, giving it some, you know, a lot, a lot of breathy tone. And I was using more of the mid-range air because I feel like this one gives a little bit of more presence, a little bit of more crunch, which is what I was going for Vori. And the high-end sparkle is a little bit more of that, 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 that heavenly angel cloud over the vocal, which at times, if you push it too hard, it can start to sound wispy. So that's what you should always be looking for, you know, understanding what a high shelf does, what a bell does and if you start using high shelf you know eqs you know kind of aggressively understanding that you're listening for that wispy kind of like that dead air as well making sure that it's not starting to get distract distracted you know like a lot of us we know about low end rumble but there's also like high end rumble too you know what i mean like high end air that you can't really hear but it sounds like <laughs> sounds like a fucking mosquito in the recording so you should uh, watch out for that too so let's look at that tell me now don't win the time we round not around don't tell me that pussy man when I'm just in town. Just in town. Don't tell me you fucking off because you think it I get around. You know I'm not too good on the mind games. Hey. You know I'm all right, now let's get to the effects. So after that, I had a little bit of a, a slap delay on uh, Vori's vocal, of course, to give a little bit dimension, but then I wanted to be a little bit more lo-fi. I'm also using something like a spring reverb. So a spring reverb is a great, great thing to put on ad-libs or anything that you kind of just want to dirty up. Because for me, spring reverb sounds very boingy. You know, of course, it's a, it's a goddamn spring, but it just has this li real lo-fi quality. So when I want something lo-fi, I'll go to something like a spring reverb and me understanding my tools, understanding that, oh shit, I got it nail right here so i need a god i need to use a goddamn hammer that's why it's important to understand your tools as an engineer understand what is a plate what is the hall what is the spring what is the room what does all that shit do so once you already know what it does you, you you're gonna use that knowledge to you know react to you know a vocal the proper way because you know okay like okay i need to make something sound dirty a little bit so okay let me approach it like this way using maybe a reverb or a dirty delay or whatever like that so yeah um let's look at that tell me now don't win the time don't around, the time around. Don't tell me that pussy man when I'm just in town. Don't tell me you fucking off cause you think it out your own. You know I'm not too good on the mind games. You know I'm not too So you kinda hear it's kinda like a low level type of nasty rumble that I got kinda got going on. After that I have an Abbey Rhodes plate and I really like this a lot for a Vori vocal because it's very rich sounding compared to other reverbs. Like when I when I want to think about something expensive and mainstream, I might use something like an Abbey Rhodes plate and I actually have a doubler stomp on my reverb as well. And I'm using the doubler stomp just because it's kind of like adding a little bit of dimension to the reverb for me. So maybe that's another great way of using a doubler outside of just, you know, parallel doubling. You know, I, I, I went with something like the doubler stomp and pay attention. Like I want something with a little more dimension. So I use the, the maximum amount of stereo widening, uh, lowest amount of feedback and a little bit of, of detuning just to kind of make it kind of sound weird inside of its own chaotic world, you know? This is all a game to you and tell me now. Don't win the time we round not around. Don't tell me that pussy man when I'm just in town. Don't tell me you fucking off cause you think it out your own. You know I'm not too good on my ass. You know I'm not. 
So when you hear the, the artist saying a certain type of lyric, you got to use that as a cue. When you think of mind games, what do you think about? Like something like, oh, my God, this person is fucking around with me. They, they're making me go crazy. So, of course, I want my reverb. I want my delay to start fucking around and be acting weird and lo-fi and grungy because that's, that's what mind games are. So it's very obvious. Like that's a part of letting the goddamn music talk to you. If you're not listening to the music, then you would never know some of this stuff. But obviously, if you hear somebody say mind games, do you think mind games is, oh, you're, you're so fair. You're playing mind games with me you're such a like no fuck no if somebody's playing mind games well you obviously know that they're dirty they're slick you know dirty that's the first thing you think about dirty okay so if he's talking about mind games and i know mind games are dirty oh a spring reverb is dirty so i should use that like that's how i want y'all to be thinking that's how y'all gonna achieve greatness in my opinion just understanding the, the little words the lyrics and making the lyrics go based on the music you feel me making the fucking shoes go with the outfit so it's appropriate you know so um you know, uh, actually, after that, I have something like the CLA 3A on parallel. I like the, the 3A. I feel like it's fast enough to use on parallel. I'm also understanding the BPM. The tempo of the music is 88 beats per minute. So I understand that, okay, he kind of rapping slow. Therefore, I can get away with slower compressors. If he was rapping like, whoa, hey, you feel me? If he was doing all that shit, then obviously I would have to go to a faster compressor. Maybe something like a CLA 76 that has a quicker release time that could keep up with it. So it don't sound like something holding back the vocal. So that's all that type of stuff that's very important to know you know how quick is these compressors releasing so that's why i use the cll uh, the, the cla3 and of course i use compressor rather than limit this time and this one's kind of working all the time this is all again to you then tell me now hey. don't win the time we round not around hey. don't tell me that pussy man when i'm just in town just in town don't tell me you fucking off because you think it i get around you know i'm not too good on the mind games hey. you know i'm not too good with the mind games okay so you guys kind of got how i'm feeling about that you know going with the theme of the music also going with the rapper's flow if he's rapping a little bit slow you know i'm not too good like there's a not there's not a lot of breaths in between the words i will get away and use a slower compressor because it's gonna make it sound more smoother if i know i'm about to eat some motherfucking cookies what i'm gonna drink with the cookies i'm gonna drink a beer with cookies no i'm gonna drink milk with cookies because in my brain i goddamn well know cookies go good with milk so that's what you kind of got to understand when you mixing this shit like that like you gotta make what goes with what goes with what pretty much you feel me he's just talking about mind games we know mind games is dirty he kind of rapping slow so i'm gonna use slower compressors you feel me okay after that we have the vori ad libs and of course i'm using something like the kramer tape again boom knocking down the, the ips speed the slower the tape gets the poorer high end frequency response that it got so i knocked it down to 7.5 and that's going to grunge you up the the ad lib so it's not about oh i got an eq and i'm gonna just roll off the top like that's one way of making shit sound dark but then you know making a, a tape go to 7.5 is another way of making things sound uh, dark in a different way so that's kind of what i'm going for and then right here at this point in time i was using a lot of noise on them damn adlibs i was using a lot a lot a lot a lot of noise you feel me just because i just wanted them to feel very very hairy i wanted them to feel like a sasquatch i wanted them to feel like big for you hear me? so i used a lot of noise on that bit to give it a, a nice little bit of thrill um then after that using a little bit of that eq pushed this up a little bit because at that point in time i started to feel like i i started to lose the articulation what was being said you know i want the adlibs, adlibs to be dark but i also want to hear what's going on then i used the limit to you know pancake press you know like if you go to denny's or you go to ihop or some shit like that and they make pancakes they put the liquid in there and they press that shit down so it's flat so i use the l1 limiter like when i want to flatten stuff out you know this is all again to you then tell me now hey. don't wait the time we round not around hey. don't tell me that pussy man when i'm just in town, just in town. don't tell, tell me you fucking off because you think that i get around, around. You, you know i'm not too good, good on the mind games, games. You know I'm not too good with the mind games. You know I'm not. Yep, so I didn't want my ad-libs to kind of be poking out and everything like that. And then, of course, I used the SSLE. Then I used a, a big a big boy gate. I used a big boy gate to, you know, kind of counteract all that noise and shit like that, all that chatter, all that chatter that's going on in the next in the next, the next next door room with the, the Kramer tape. I wanted to, you know, shut the door. I wanted to put some noise-canceling headphones on, and I used the SSLE to shut it the fuck up. So unless the actual ad-libs are going through, I'm not going to be hearing the noise that's going to keep constantly going and all that. This is all again. To your then tell me now. Hey. Don't win the time we round not around. Hey. Don't tell me that pussy man when I'm just in, town. just in town. Don't tell me you fucking off cause you think it I get around. You know I'm not too good on the mind games. You know I'm not too good with the mind games. You know I'm okay so after that point i just had a flanger and that kind of just gave me 
just a just a modern effect I feel like Vori kind of had on his vocal using something like a flanger or even a phaser is what I always go to when I want a little bit of wobble when I want a little bit of wiggle 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 room with my motherfucking ad libs that's what I will go to and another great thing that I love to always do that I try to tell y'all is like you know how you you know chop up the ad libs you know I go in there kind of like a sushi chef I go in there kind of like a samurai with a katana and I start cutting that bitch up you feel me you got one ad lib on the left and another ad lib on the right and boom two ad libs together stereo and boom another stereo left right now you feel me like you can do little patterns like that you know just kind of make the ad libs move without using a flanger or a phaser but if i already understood out the gate that that's what i'm going for with my ad libs is movement well there's a different ways that i can approach it so pretty much this is the end of the video that i got here for today you know this is vori sound so if you guys do like this template you can get it in the pin comment down below you can check it out you can go go ahead and grab it don't forget to like comment and subscribe also drop more artists suggesting and i just want to say thanks a lot for being a great part of my youtube family don't forget to like comment and subscribe appreciate y'all now peace